Senusha has recorded a total of 26 confirmed cases of COVID-19 to date. The last case recorded on Tuesday, August 18, 2020, was a 32-year-old female who traveled from the U.S. She has recovered fully, both clinically and with negative tests. Presently, all of the confirmed cases of COVID-19 have recovered and St. Lucia has recorded zero COVID-19 deaths. A total of 5,542 tests have been conducted to date. As it relates to the 48-year-old national who was found unresponsive in her room at one of the government quarantine sites on Sunday, August 23, 2020, the individual is still being managed at the Owen King EU Hospital and her condition is not linked to COVID-19. As we continue to open new sectors such as education, the public is advised to take personal responsibility to protect themselves and their family. We continue to increase surveillance to reduce the risks such as the illegal entry at the borders, breaches to home quarantine and non-adherence to protocol. The public is advised that protocols are still in place these include the use of face masks in public, maintaining a safe physical distance from others, and to avoid mass crowd gatherings. We appeal to everyone to continue supporting our national efforts to minimize the threat of COVID-19 on our island. The five respiratory clinics remain open to facilitate anyone with respiratory signs and symptoms and the 311 hotline is also available where concerns and questions can be addressed. We continue to advise on the importance of maintaining the standard recommendations for infection prevention and control, which include regular hand washing if soap and water or the use of alcohol-based hand sanitizers, also to cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing further updates on COVID-19.